Okay, and this video is showing you how to find a unit vector. We've already seen the Cartesian unit vectors. They are three specific unit ve vectors of i, j, and k. They're the vectors that have a length of 1 in the direction of x, y, and z. Um, but we can find unit vectors in any direction. Unit vector just means that they have a length of 1. So if we think about this vector v, this is of 3i plus 2j plus 6k. We're looking for the unit vector that's in the same direction as v. So before we do anything, we need to know how long v is. So in this case, v is 7 units long. So that's not a unit vector, because it's not one unit long. So what we would need to do is use that vector of v, but divide it 3 by 7 so that we get a vector that is just one unit long. So this V with the little hat on it is how we denote that it's a unit vector. And it's a unit vector in the direction of the vector V. So it's going to be 1 seventh of V. So then you just divide each of those parts of i, j and k by 7. So we can summarise this in the following way. If you divide the vector by its length, which is the modulus, you'll get the unit vector that is going in that direction. So the vector that is of length 1 in that direction of the vector. So here we've got it in this little formula. The unit vector of v equals the vector divided by the modulus. And here's our example question. P is this point 152. We need to find the unit vector in the direction of OP. Now remember OP is the um, position vector of the point P. And then after that we will find the vector OQ given that OQ has a length of 10 units and is in the direction of OP. So first of all we need the unit vector in the direction of OP. So the modulus of OP is root 30. I'm just going to call that vector OP as that little p there just to make it easier with the notation. So what I've done there is then take the vector that gets us to 152, which is i plus 5j plus 2k, and divide it by the modulus. So that's that 1 over root 30 in front of it. Or each of the i, j and k parts have been divided by root 30. And for part b, oq is then 10 times that unit vector. So that unit vector is in the direction of OP, and it's of length 1. So if we want something in the direction of OP but length 10, we just multiply it all by 10. 